One. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Nick Ortiz here. Today we'll be doing uh, high risk guillotine and uh, controlling the scramble situation when your opponent is trying to escape the high risk guillotine, pretty much capitulating to their back, and uh, how we can control that scramble situation to reclaim the, the, the high risk guillotine and get the finish. All right, guys, let's bring it in. Last technique of the day. So we just saw one situation where our opponent capitulated down to their back, and we pretty much relinquished the high risk CFT, and we allowed them to uh, go to their back, and we, we captured a, a north-south pin. This time from the situation, I need to understand that when I get that high risk guillotine in place, and my opponent understands that I don't have a frame arm so they can start capitulating to their back, this would pretty much be classified as a scramble. So now my opponent's looking to fall to their back, and what tends to happen is we're in a neutral situation where there's pretty much nobody has head height in this situation, so no one's really uh, winning the scramble. Especially us, we want to win the scramble, so we need to uh, list some kind of head height. But from here, with movement, our opponent's doing a much better job than us. And from here, it's going to be easy for Camille to get her head across the center line, look to hit me into a situation where now she can start taking my back and, and so on. Once you classify this as a scramble in your mind, you tend to understand, okay, if this is a scramble, I need to keep my head height, situ uh, my, my head height position. So in this situation, when I bring my head from near side shoulder to far side shoulder, and we punch our arm through, from here, I can't get a frame arm in, I feel my opponent going down to their back. Instead of rolling with them in that situation where it's pretty much a gale roll and we lose the position entirely, I'm gonna look to roll over my left shoulder. The way I roll over my left shoulder is I'm gonna be looking in that direction. I'm gonna pendulum my legs from my right hip over towards my left. And from here, as my opponent continues to roll, I roll over my left shoulder, and we have a second chance now at the high risk guillotine. Why? Because we control the scramble with head height. From here, my left hand goes over. I grab my own elbow to solidify that frame arm in place. I fold my right leg in towards my opponent. We sit back shoulders in front of hips, and from here we do the finishing mechanics we saw in the, uh, the first move. First and the second. So, again, our partner is in a turtle position. From here, I punch my arms through. They begin to roll. If I don't have head height, I'm not winning the scramble situation. And from here, it's gonna be very easy to lose the position entirely. So because it's a scramble, I understand, okay, my, my opponent wants to scramble, I need to have head height. So. Head goes from near side shoulder to far side shoulder. Before I get a frame arm in place, Camille rolls. I roll over that left shoulder, winning the head height situation. My left leg steps up towards my partner's hip, and I'm looking to cut the corner here in this situation where I bring my chest over the shoulder line. My left arm goes underneath my partner's armpit on her right hand side until my left hand touches my right elbow. I fold my right leg in towards my uh, opponent, and from here, all I'm looking to do is squeeze my bicep and take my thumb over to my own delt to get a very, very strong finish. All right, guys, control the scramble with head height. Three, two, one. Ooh. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the uh, content, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm still tired. Okay. Uh.